Hey what's up guys, Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Finally we are doing this video, I'm really happy to show you everything I have here in the shop. I promised to you on the Instagram and also before I mentioned on the video that this 2012 KTM 300 build is going to be very unique. I don't think there is any other KTM that will look like this one. Before I show you everything behind me, I want to give a shout out to a sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. You guys know me, I don't usually play video games, but this one right here is really fun. Raid is definitely a tough game. You can play it on a smartphone or on a PC. It has a 10 challenging dungeons, each with a super tough boss that you actually need to beat. 12 unique locations with 3 different difficulties. There are 13 unique factions such as Dwarves, Orcs, Undead and Human Knights, 460 unique champions with over 200,000 clans fighting and competing together right now and with over 25 million players, Raid's the hottest mobile game around and it's only getting bigger. So this is essentially a mobile game so most of the people will play it on the smartphones and I really like the graphics, it has a feel of a console game. So let me show you the favorite couple of favorite things here. You click on your champions, these are the fighters you have. And this guy right here, this green dude, that's my favorite champion. He looks something something in between Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Hulk, and Shrek. So that's why he's my favorite. And he has a lot of cool skills that uh, you see his skills here, you can see what he's able to do. And if you want him to be a little bit stronger, a little bit you know better equipped to fight other enemies. You can always uh, teach him new skills, you can take him to a tavern and uh, you can just make him a little bit stronger. It's pretty cool. Raid recently released its biggest ever update, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms and 12 seriously badass bosses that you need to fight against. On the top of that, Raid also just released a bunch of amazing new champions and there will be even more coming this month. Trust me, there is a champion for everyone. You can support my channel when you download this game, below in the description there will be a link and you can also get exclusive welcome pack if you are a new player that would contain 50,000 silver, 50 gems, 5 mystery shards, 1 energy refill, 1 day XP boost, 1 clan boss key and the free awesome champion shaman. You will find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days. Alright guys, let's get back into this video. So here, as you see on my desk, let's start with the frame. Uh, we chose this uh, bright red color for powder coating. San Diego powder coating did our frame and I think it looks beautiful. And there is a reason why we have a red frame. I put it on Instagram and many of you were saying that I'm trying to build a gas gas. No, that's not the case. I'm not trying to build a gas gas. This is still KTM. But here is the reason. Uh, if you guys know your KTMs, you know that they do uh, six days editions. So every year there is a six days edition that is uh, made. The theme of the bike is uh, based on the country where the six uh, days race is for that particular year. And uh, in 2016, if you look it up, 2016, I'll put the bike somewhere here. 2016 race was in Slovakia. And uh, some of you know, some of you maybe not, but I am Slovak guy, I'm from Slovakia. So, when I first saw the bike, I didn't know, you know, big, I'm uh, riding bike like 5-6 years now, so I didn't know they do this, the 6 days and all that kind of stuff. So in 2015, when they came up with 2016 bike, and I saw KTM in my flag colors, in Slovakia all over the bike, and uh, red, white and blue, those are the colors of my flag. And so those were the colors of the bike. And it just looks so beautiful. I saw it in the showroom floor in KTM in Temecula. I look at the bike and I said, man, one day, one day I'll have this bike. So that, uh, that was my plan. But then I bought this bike, it's 2012 and uh, I want to build it, right? And I want to do something unique. So I came up with the idea. Why don't I build my own Slovak edition KTM 300 that will be unique yet it will 
have the theme of the 2016 bike, but it will be unique. I will design new graphics, new everything, so the bike will look different. So that's why we decided to paint this, uh, to powder coat this frame into a red color, because we are going to follow these uh, three main colors in my flag. White, red and blue. For this build, I want to do something a little bit, little bit more than what I did before, just to step, you know, a little bit higher and, and, and do a little bit better job. So we decided to also do some custom work with our suspension. Not only changing the internals and setting everything to my weight and skills, but we wanted to do some custom work. Actually for the shock, we took it apart and we sent the shock to three different companies. So the top right here was uh, Cerakoted, just uh, as the engine, at Moto Blasters. Thank you guys, great job. We decided to go with this Midnight Bronze. Meanwhile, the spring that we got from Racetech that was already for my weight, together with frame we sent to San Diego powder coating, they did this beautiful matching red color and then the bottom of the shock was uh, uh, deep anodized at Racetech, this is a deep anodized black color. And then when we got the parts back, we took everything back to Racetech and they uh, rebuilt everything and set it for my skills and my riding. And I just love how this thing looks, it looks factory, I never had this kind of great looking shock on the bike. I didn't want to keep the stag look, you know, the silver forks. I wanted to do something a little bit different. So uh, we spent extra money and we got this deep black anodizing for the forks and also for the bottoms, for the shoes. So it is going to look very custom, very different than your other KTMs. We got him some cover and a basket. Uh, clutch is actually stag KTM. Nice uh, Cerakoting, everything is hydroblasted, Architect head, vertex piston, hot rod bottom. We rebuilt the keen carburetor with all balls and JD jetting, new starter and everything is new, new seals, bearings, so this engine is ready to go. Let's move on to the back of my shop. Here are all the parts uh, I need for the build. So right here we got a bunch of stuff from P3 as we usually do for off-road builds. This is a P3 carbon uh, pipe protection and we also have a nice matching P3 carbon skid plate. Plus they are doing something new and I think it's really cool. P3 carbon uh, protection for the top of your tank. It will be nicely tucked uh, under the shrouds on the side you will see here top and it will be nicely matching everything. So as you can see, the third major color, actually fourth major color would be black. Like this kind of thing, uh, carbon fiber and then black will be the major thing. So let's move over here. We got the FMF gnarly pipe that uh, works really good and it's, uh, it's a sturdy pipe and it will, uh, it will work uh, good, give us a little bottom power on the trails. Plus we got uh, FMF Turbine Core 2, which is a must here in California for off-road riding with the Spark Arrester approved by uh, USFS. So that's good. And Raptor Titanium, this is a company from UK. These are the foot packs, super light, super sharp. You're gonna feel planted and I'm getting new boots too, so <laughs> that's good. These are our food packs. Now, uh, we are going to use uh, updated look for the front end. So we're gonna have a 2020 look, uh, and for that we needed this uh, bracket to fit a new fender on the old style uh, KTM uh, uh, triple clamp. So uh, Nihilio or Nilo concept, they are doing this bracket, so this time I got it from them. Moving here, a bunch of stuff from Bulletproof. Bulletproof is a company I go to for the protection many of times. They do a great stuff for, uh, you know, for your uh, basic things, radiators, uh, rotors, uh, bottom of the forks. And this is for the re rear caliper, this is for the swing arm. So uh, as you can see, everything is black. So again, uh, this is going to be another major color in the build, so everything that is anodized starting from the forks and then all the parts here are going to be black right here also a p3 carbon we got a bunch of these uh grip fr frame tapes in different colors i'm probably going to use blue that'll make the most sense tm design work uh, again black color matching everything 
for our chain guide and chain slider these uh, guys are really sturdy good company good quality i'm using this for pretty much all my off-road uh, bikes never had any issues so happy to have that everything back there that's the stock uh, silver or raw aluminum we are, didn't do any aftermarket uh, you know brake pedal and shifter everything is uh, everything is stock we want to use this uh, raw aluminum we didn't change anything there so another major color would be raw aluminum white red blue black and silver or raw aluminum that's going to be the theme of the bike back there factory links we're going to rebuild the uh, triple clamp the you know the steering stem bearings we're gonna do that uh, in the next video these are stock radiators that we sent over to icw uh, they straightened them and then made them really strong they added these uh, things right there so this is going to be super strong plus we are going to use uh, bulletproof uh, radiator guards and we also have a fan for this radiator so this is going to be our ultimate off-road setup for the cooling for the radiators another company here that we have a lot of parts from is uh, enduro engineering uh, hand guards this is a little tool to adjust your your preload of your sack uh, then we have this uh, handle so we can grab the bike and we have a little tool for the power valve this is a uh, this is the clutch uh, slave cylinder and uh, red color again that's uh, one of the main colors for the hand guards here we have a bunch of things from works connection that is also nice and black so we stained with the same thing trail tag is going to uh, do this uh, fan as i mentioned uh, this is for the this is for the radiator and i'm really happy to have this it's 66 degrees in, um, in my garage so we're gonna have that uh, on our radiator plus we decided to go with voyager trail tag it has gps and all kinds of bunch cool features we're gonna install that and also we have some uh, black black anodized bracket to hold let me take it out i only have one hand because i'm holding gopro so we have this uh black anodized uh, bracket to to hold everything it's gonna look really good moving on uh, fast way pro moto billet uh, this is uh this is our uh, dog bone with the with the protection we're going to replace our dog bone on our linkage this one is really sturdy plus you can actually adjust it you can make your bike sit a little bit lower if you want to and we also have black anodized uh, kickstand from Fastway Pro Moto Billet looking really good and matching everything else. Here, the big thing is, uh, of course, the color of our plastics and everything that is uh, plastic is from UFO and everything is in white color. Even we are going to replace the uh, air box that is going to be, you know, the bottom, the bottom of your uh, of your fender. Everything is going to be white everything is uh one color and uh this is from like three different years the front is from 2020 uh front fender right here it's from 2020 uh, actually well 2017 and up i think or something like that and uh the sides are from you know, 2015 the rear fender we had to go with 2012 but they didn't change for many years so we're gonna keep that like that so bug will look a little bit unique in in that in in that uh, way too and moving on yes xc my bag is xc did not come with a light but i really wanted to have a headlight on my bike so we got this baja design uh, headlight that we're gonna match with 2020 um, mask what do you call this thing right here i never know what's the correct name for this thing but yeah this light will go in here and will look incredible and this thing is super bright we used it for the Dallas's bike if you remember for the husky we built the 350 and he just loves it it's it's really an amazing light so we're happy to have that uh, and the the graphics will be cool i'm gonna show it to you next time probably here moving on uh, our brakes uh, j clark 
thank you so much jay actually helped me a lot uh he asked me to give him all the all the brake components everything and he rebuilt the brakes for me he rebuilt the clutch and you know everything we need so everything here works connection again black color everything here is uh, cerakoted uh, midnight bronze and we got new internals all balls everything is new rebuilt these uh, brakes will feel amazing we got golfer uh, steel braided uh, lines silver with the black if you can see the detail you know with that with the black uh, banjo bolts or I think banjo joints is why we call them plus as I said uh, stock brake and uh, this is from fast company you know that uh, the bottom piece with this spring preload everything is revealed here this is our rear with the bulletproof uh, guard uh, shark fin that also holds your uh, your brake caliper and we also seracoated nicely the, the throttle throttle body here is the clutch moving on look at that seat <laughs> this looks amazing i really love this uh, moto seat they do such a great job with the seats this is actually brand new bottom brand new foam and brand new everything on the seat and uh, look at the blue color it looks really amazing i love it so it's gonna match our graphics and it was nice and grippy it just looks amazing and lasts a long time so happy to have this on the bike we have more factory links bearings we are going to rebuild every single bearing on the bike swing arm linkage uh, and uh, shocks and also rebuilding the uh, you know steering stem spec balls they gave us bunch of bolts everything we need uh, is here in this bag we also use bunch of spec bolts already on our engine build but we have way more here so all the bolts will be nice shiny and just uh, look really great phoenix handlebars this is the first time i'm going to use a phoenix handlebars i actually know uh founder of the phoenix company really cool guy and uh, i really wanted to uh, you know support what he's doing so we are having these uh, phoenix handlebars on our build plus they come in the colors that support my my build so that's a plus i'm really happy how everything looks here and this is really good product here uh, these are stock ktm parts that i had to order from uh, from the you know ktm oem website uh, and uh, everything you know i was missing or everything that was damaged is here these little things so yeah when you do build like this sometimes you need to get oem stuff now moving down here look at these wheels i think they look pretty cool what do you think of course we have our dunlop tires it's a uh, 80 80 81 and uh, we got srt racing wheels this time and as i said i didn't want to do any uh, different color anodizing so i decided to go with a raw aluminum look for the hubs and the black rims and I think it looks really good. The only different color that is anodized would be this uh, Sprocket from Super Sprock, but it is a blue color that will match other blue things on the bike. So this is our front end. Uh, we got the new Golfer rotors, regular in the on the rear wheel, and here in the front, again, nice silver hub and oversized Golfer rotor for the front brake. All right, my friends, so this is it. This is the plan for my 2012 Slovak edition KTM 300 build. And I cannot wait to hear your feedback. So if you are still here, thanks for sticking till the end. And don't forget to go below and write some comment. Let me know what you think about my plan, about the parts and about everything you heard today in this video. And as always, don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.